good afternoon to uh, one and all. Like you, we are very much ready to go here. And looking forward to a game that has been a topic for universal conversation in this part of the world for much of the last few days. It's dry at the moment, but the forecasters have warned us of impending rain. There's no certainty about that, but uh, when it does come, it shouldn't affect the uh, dynamics of a match which has so much riding on it. Truly, this is a capital venue fit for a truly capital club, which Roma, of course, are. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Aidan Jekyll. He's a real handful up front, Peter, and not just because of his height and that physical presence. He's got excellent awareness and, and technique and that allows him to bring others into the game he's a very powerful finisher too so he'll be giving defenders a real dilemma about whether to close him down or not i would advise the former yeah he'll be looking for a goal or two it's on a he's gone for it and that's been one straight back and it's Kolarov. looks to drop one in Hernandez plays it forward. He's looked long this time. Defending of the desperate variety. Oh, what a ball! Under. Roma getting a lot of touches here, but they're not making much progress. Milan have been unwelcome visitors anywhere. They've won their last five away games. Anything, Jim, to pick out of these early exchanges? Well, neither side. He's gone for goal! Oh, that was no routine save. Jekyll sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Cristante. Roma coming into this game on the back of a really good result and their boss must take an awful lot of credit for that. I think, Peter, we have to give credit where it's due. He had a problem up top and he tweaked the system to sort it out. And what I like is that he doesn't hold back. He's got that who dares wins mentality and he really goes for it. Lucas Paqueta tries running with the ball at his feet. He's left his man, just... And the shot! Oh, that is rather wayward. Lucas Paqueta really drove at the heart of that defence. Incisive, quick, but not clinical. there Pellegrini created that super goal to produce a lead in their last game great strength too strong for his opponent Rebic gets it back Rebic he's going after it oh that is asking for trouble and he's whipped it in low we get that clear Rebic Sancho shapes to shoot he's got away with one there hoists it forward nicely measured pass Roma taking a simple modern approach here yeah but I'm all for simplicity Peter if it works it's good enough Federico Fazio and it's played forward Hakimi Hakimi concedes a free kick for that The 
Cristante. And here's Dzeko. Looking to break out here. Hoists it high. Rebic! Goal! Oh, a goal of real quality. He made it look ridiculously easy. Rebic simply knew the ball was asking to be hit first time because of the way it arrived. And boy, did he hit it. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. And that ought to be the trigger for a really exciting and entertaining game from here on. Milan finished the first half strongly, as so often they do. And the counter is on. Rebic tried to play it through. Uh, was too timid to make it through the defence. It'll be noted and, and improved upon, I'm sure. Forward it goes. Cristante. Kolarov tries to get it forward quickly. Pellegrini. Out to the left it goes. Pretty robust, but it's got the job done. And the half time whistle goes. So there you have it. A close sport half of football. But it still had its moments. It ultimately produced just one goal. A more than decent game up to now. What we learned from the first 45 minutes yes they're behind but it's a, a reversible situation as long as better defensive focus can can avoid a second goal on the counter they know they have the wherewithal to come up with what they need milan are in at half time with a slender one goal lead already up and running for the second half milan carrying a one goal lead Roma can make their change now with uh, a break and play. Rain starting to fall here. It has been looking that way for a little while. Bruno Perez. Wunder. Moves it over to the other flank. Tristante. Parotti. Good challenge, he just stood firm. That's surely a foul, free kick. And here's Dzeko. Well, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. He's having a go. out to the right Cristante Gagliardini loses his balance and loses the ball and he's made sure that that won't get through Milan ahead here but what is still the only goal Hakimi with the foul Gagliardini, Under, and here's Dzeko, Sancho dashing forward at pace, Lucas Paqueta, nicely worked, he's had a shot, great build up, it all deserved a better ending. Sancho certainly did his part with a lovely pass, and unfortunately, the loveliness ceased there. To 
Perotti spreads it towards the left. And it's got through. Oh, that's nice. Kessier goes looking. Well, that's where he wants it. Defenders on the back foot. Under. Just brushed off the ball there. Timely intervention. Fazio gets good distance on it. It has got chance! A collective sigh of relief from the defence. So here comes the substitution. That's not going to make it. Can't get the better of his opposite number. Perotti. Kolarov tries to switch the play. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, it's a natural instinct to defend when ahead, but it's too early for them to settle into that practice just now. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Lucas Paqueta. Milan are clearly looking to kill this game off. It's keeping the ball away from the other end, too. The breakthrough came in the final moments of the first period, and the score is 1-0. Crosses it in. Roma are definitely not going down without a scrap. Their attitude just can't be faulted. Sancho gets it back. Well, he's... Perotti. It's by no means guaranteed just yet. He gets past his man. Roma on a corner and hardly any time left on the clock. He's played it short. And it's the throw. Good challenge. He just stood firm. He's got through. Werner. Gets away from his opponents, and the shot! And that would have been some goal. Werner just might have got a little ahead of himself then. Maybe he had too much thinking time. Florenzi. Going nowhere fast is about the only way I can describe this. They've just got to be busier. Romagnoli battles to win it back. And here's Perotti. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. showing that there will be three minutes of added time it is just a question of running down the clock now Samu Castillejo Werner going for goal goal two up now and they are cruising 
Oh, that was a cracking little exchange to set up the finish and a lovely understanding between both players. I mean, that's clearly tailored on the training ground and delivered beautifully on match day. Well, it's an inspired substitution. Terrific move by the boss. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. Milan could not have... Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Milan emerged victorious here, and it's no more than they deserve. They were simply the better team. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Milan will walk away happy from this with such a show of defensive solidity and maturity that's hard to upset. Well, that's the lot for now. Thanks to you, Jim, and goodbye.